Oh, what is good, Z Nation Daily, Xander. Three, eight, five, so far for the night. Got a haircut, shout out to Amy, thank you very much for being an awesome barber. And it's next week, I know I said before, I was actually gonna get the entire facial hair all, all scruffed off. Next week, next week I'm gonna do that. So I'm just at Publix getting some food. I'm going to eat a sandwich real quick, and I'm going to head over to Barnes & Noble and do some work reading-wise, make some purchases online for a new phone. Got that. And then I've been in contact with a dude I met when I was in England who also got on board with Steiner, Steiner Spa. And it seems like right now they might not be organized just based off what he said. Regardless, I'm going to embrace whatever happens, happens. It's one of those things that ultimately, if it turns out not to be the greatest thing in the world, first off, I'm responsible for my life and whatever happens. So there's never a need to put it onto somebody else and recognize the value you can add in situations like that. So I'm going to go in it with the utmost intention to add value to anyone and everyone and spread me along with if it ends up to be more than more longer than three weeks or so then I'll end up spending more time which would be really cool if I actually end up staying longer than like three weeks and such that brings up a whole new creative ways I need to go about it as far as Surviving, but it'll be fun. I'm enjoying. I'm looking forward to it. A lot of thoughts and ideas went through my head when I kind of found out about that. And being my, my friend, or should I just my contact was telling me that people about like eight weeks ago that went through the, the training and such are still ways, waiting to be placed. And again, that's that's one of the downsides. Many downsides to having a job is your life is in somebody else's hands. Versus what I'm in the process of doing right now. It is a long process of building an ongoing asset and continue developing my mindset and how to think so that I can I can have more of an impact. I can actually live the life I want to live. Because obviously what I'm doing right now is not something I want to do for the rest of my life. But I recognize that I need to be it's a consistency in establishing discipline and establishing my mindset and my attitude throughout this process. It's a long process. It's gonna be several years, five year process. Cool thing about this is you can relate it to the Chinese bamboo tree. The Chinese bamboo tree literally does nothing whatsoever as far as growth from year one, year two, year three, year four. By year five, oh, by year five, that is when the tree ends up growing 60 feet, 80 feet in a span of like six weeks. But how did it get to that point? It got to that point with, through consistent gardening or feeding showing affection, being consistent, focused, disciplined in the sense of watering a certain time, making sure there's proper sun exposure and such. And even one one day throughout that entire five-year process is a tremendous setback that prevents it from growing. So that's what I'm working on right now and will continue doing so is the consistency and the discipline and such to continue to grow myself to what I want to do and who I want to be and what, I, what mark I'll leave on this earth. So I'll check in with you a little bit later as I'm going to continue on and get it. Peace. Oh, what is good Z Nation? Back to it, Daily Xander. Whoa, 385 here at the Embassy Suites. Look, this is something we avoid at all costs right there. TV screen. Whew. Mindless. Does not serve a purpose to my life or many other people's lives as far as... Five years from now, watching that, what is that going to do to your mind to get you to where you want to go? Looking back, now that I just said that, it's funny, growing up, you'd hear about kids that would have parents and they wouldn't have a TV in their house, they wouldn't want them to watch TV. And it's not that I looked down upon that, it's just I didn't at the time really think about like, oh, I see why maybe parents would not want their kids to watch TV. Makes sense now. Makes sense. <laughs> All right, so I've just been reading for the past two hours. I'm about to finish. I have about 13 more pages left of Tensional Living, John Maxwell. 
So I'm gonna finish that tonight and I gotta order, some, put some orders in for some items. Hmm, what else? Oh, a lot, a lot of stuff. In contact with one of my friends from New Zealand. Just had a lot of ideas floating around my head for upcoming in London, so I'm really getting excited for that. And how I'm gonna grow from my time in London, because it's, it's uncertain how long I'm gonna be there. And a lot of things go through my head as far as it's gonna really force me to be creative in the sense that I don't have an abundance to work with. That being said, I don't take the approach of then being conservative. But anticipating being abundant. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is this. It comes from the Intentional Living book. And it really, again, goes back to a mindset. So just bear with me for one second as I look through my notes and my right-handed handwriting. <laughs> oh, I gotta love it. I have way. I gotta have fun. You know, can't take yourself too, too, too seriously. Develop anticipation to instill an attitude that leads to. Nope, that's not the one. There we go. No one experiences abundance while anticipating scarcity. That's the word I was looking for. Scarcity. So why not try abundance? So have the attitude of abundance rather than scarcity. Realistically, I. I'm scarcity in certain aspects. It could be financing. But with that said, I'm going into it with abundance of my skills I have developed over the past year or so. And I'm really going to make an impact on the people I'm in the presence of. Loving it. Also, by the way, I did not mention this. I'm going to a Dan Pena event November 30th in London, hosted by London Real. So that'll be fun to see a dude I saw or I met in person for 20 minutes. Had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him for 20 minutes in March. Looking forward to that. Like I said, a lot's going, lots going on, as I hope a lot is going on in your life right now. So, as I end it now, coming to you from Embassy Suites here in Altamont Springs, Orlando, Florida the southeast portion of the United States of America and the northern hemisphere of the one and only planet Earth. I'm signing off. It's midnight. Daily Xander 385 in the books. I realize how important it is to always add value, positivity, encouragement, inspiration, any and every chance I get you just never know what that big or small interaction can do for another person, another group of people, another massive wave of people, and how it can benefit them, which thus, in the bigger picture, benefits many other people. Okay, peace, love, unity, respect, and... <laughs> Passion. Catch you guys later. Oh, yeah.